Okay, hey everyone. Um, so uh, what I'm doing here is uh, unlocking my friend's iPod. Now he bought it, um, and he let a friend use it or, or something like that, and uh, it got the screen lock got turned on, and uh, now he has no way of finding out what the screen lock is because nobody can remember it. Um, and so there's obviously way too many combinations to just try one by one. There's many thousands of them. So I actually figured out a way to do it. Apple says the only way to do it if you've forgotten your code and if you don't have the primary computer it was used on is to uh, restore it completely. Well, I decided that I didn't feel like doing that and telling him that all his music was gone, so I devised a way to do this. You get Tinker Tool open, or uh, if you know how to do this in the terminal, you can. You're going to tell the finder to show hidden uh, in system files. You're going to relaunch the finder. And now it's going to show all your hidden files. You're going to open up the iPod, and in the root directory, there's something called iPod Control. Open that up. You're going to click Device, and in there, there's going to be something called Underscore Locked. All you're going to do is drag that to the trash can. It's that simple. Eject the device, and now the device is no longer locked. It is completely unlocked. You can use it just as if it was a regular iPod that you had just restored, except all your music is still on it. Isn't that cool? So I'm just going to wait for iTunes to catch up with itself. Eject that thing. Eject that thing. And iTunes is moving slow, but that's okay. I'm just going to unplug it. And now I have a completely unlocked iPod. So now I can just go up to him and say, hey, I unlocked it. I figured out a way to do it. And maybe charge him some money. That has been your 10 minute Mac really short 10 minute Mac video for this week. I hope to do another episode soon.